Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to create a simple three-point lighting setup in Blender. So without further ado, let's get into it. Neve sculpts. So to start off, I like to open up my workspace to have multiple viewing platforms. So just down here, you can create another segment just by dragging along. I'm gonna collapse this one. And now in this second window, I'll show you how to actually apply this sort of lighting setup and what each light does. So to start off with, I'll simply turn off all the lights and just show you what each one is doing. So first off, we have the backlight. This light helps pop out the outline of your character. Second, we have the fill light. So this light is essentially the one that fills the rest of the character's form and really wraps around the, the character and shows you all those forms that you might not have been able to see otherwise. And then lastly, we have the key light. So this light is the more brighter light and it just shines down from above and really fills out the rest of your scene. So to actually put this into play, I'm gonna hide all the lights and we're just gonna start from scratch in this other viewport. So first off, I'm going to add in the light by pressing Shift A, coming down to light and we're going to use a point light. So now you can see it's we've got it here updating in real time for us, which is awesome. So what I will do is press G to grab it and move it somewhere in the back here that actually does what it's supposed to and outline the back of our character. So you can see it's working, but it's not very bright. So what we have to do is increase the power over here in the light tab. So once we're in our light tab, we can come down to power and increase that to something that works well. So we've got 50, maybe we want to go to 100, see if that works well. And that's looking pretty good, so we'll keep it there. Now we're going to add in the fill light. So again, Shift A, light, area light this time. And now we'll just move it into position. So now we have the light in the position that we roughly want it to be in. But how do we actually point it at our character? Super simple, if you just press Shift T, that will move the light to wherever your cursor is pointing. So I'll aim that at his eye there. And again, the light is there, but it's not very bright. So we're gonna increase the power to about 100 again, see if that looks any good. See how 150 looks on our character. Or even 120 is looking all right there. So now that's looking all right. And now we just want to pretty much duplicate this light to become the key light. So I'll press Shift D to create a duplicate, move it across the Y axis over to the other side. And now I'll, again, I'll just move it into position, Shift T to aim that at our character. And because this one is, well, first off, it needs to be a little bit higher. So I'll push that up to be a bit higher. Shift T again and aim it at the character. And now I'll just create the power just a little bit more intense to maybe 150. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Um, all we need to do now is give the scene a little bit more, more of a color. So they're all the same colored light and it's looking a bit bland. So what I'll do over here is change the color to maybe like a sort of pinkish oranges color. And that's looking pretty good. Then for the fill light, I'll change that one to a little bit of blue. There we go. And for the backlight, we'll actually just keep it as is, as a stagnant white. Now, if your scene doesn't look like this, it could be that you have your world lighting enabled. Simple way to fix that is if you come over to the shading tab up the top here, go from object to world, and you'll see we've got the background here. If you connect that up and we go into the shading, it'll give it a bit of a different look. So it'll add that extra bit of light. Not sure if you want that in your scene or not. I generally just turn it off and it gives it a little bit more of realistic controlled lighting. So there we have it guys, simple, easy lighting in Blender. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. Otherwise, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and as always, happy sculpting.